the desert bloom. Jesus makes the desert bloom. Living water for me and you. Living water for me and you. Me and you. Sumeray, Sumeray, yeah, God made you and God made me. Sumeray. Hi everyone. As you can see, our VBS is coming, and early registration started last Sunday. Go to the church website and fill out the registration form first. Then come to the VBS registration booth located at church to make your payment, and your registration will be completed. You will have so much fun and learn about unforgettable wildlife, culture, and the beauty of Australia while exploring the wonder and value of life. All right, are you guys ready to worship? Let's start.
friends, hi boys and girls. I hope you everyone is having a great Sunday today. Today's Bible passage comes from Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 6. There is none like you, O Lord. You are great, and great is your name in might. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 6. Amen. Hi boys and girls, this is Pastor April. How are you? Happy Sunday! I'm so excited to share today's Bible story with you. Before we go into our Bible story, let me ask you a question. What are some skills, traits that something only you can do that makes you special and unique? Hmm, for me? Oh, you know what? I speak three languages and I can play some drums. That's pretty unique, right? What are some very interesting things that you can do? Can you do a handstand? Or are you good at math? Or can you hold your breath for a really long time? Wow, I'm not good at any of those things. You know our God is very unique. There's no one like our God. Today, we will be learning more about God's holiness, the things about God that make Him different from everything and everyone else. Are you ready? Now, let's dive into our Bible story. Okay, let me show you guys something. I'm going to draw some squiggly lines here on this whiteboard. Hmm, I'm going to draw four of them and make them look exactly the same. Here we go. Well... <laughs> I really tried, but as you can see, it seems impossible to draw the exact same four lines, right? Each of those squiggles was completely unique. Unique means different. Wait, you know who else is unique in this world? Our God is completely unique. God is not like anything or anyone else. Nothing in this world can match His beauty, power or goodness and it's not even close and this is a part of what it means to say god is holy boys and girls our god is holy and we can be holy and set apart too today we will learn about how we can be holy like god over the last few weeks we have seen what god is like in a few different stories god's people the israelites were wandering in the wilderness it was a long journey for them I understand it must have been very tiring and exhausting. But throughout their journey, we've seen how complaining and forgetful they were. They kept making mistakes like not trusting God or not honoring Him as holy. God gave them manna and quail so they wouldn't be hungry. God always provided what they needed. But they complained about the food God provided. They got tired of the food they had. They made their own God, which was a golden calf, because they didn't trust God enough. When God promised to the special land of Canaan, they refused to enter the promised land because they were scared by the people living there. They sinned against God, but not only the Israelites, even their leader, Moses, disobeyed God. Remember when God told him to speak to the rock? He got so angry and hit the rock and disobeyed God's instructions. And one time when they kept complaining about food and water, God decided to give them a lesson and sent poisonous snakes that bit them. But still, God gave them a way to be saved and healed. Each time the people made these mistakes, God showed His holiness, goodness, and love. People changed, but our God never changes. He consistently showed the Israelites how holy He was. God wasn't like the Israelites. The Israelites failed, but God never failed them. Sometimes when they failed, God disciplined them, but also showed them mercy and grace. Today, we will look at a passage from the New Testament to better understand how holy our God is. Peter was a follower of Jesus. 
He wrote a letter to other Christians. He reminded them of what God had done for them and what God is like. When a person believes God's good news about Jesus, his life completely changes. Peter's letter encouraged many other Christians to live a changed life and to be more like Jesus. Here are some things Peter wrote in his letters. Number one, Peter told God's people that they should be holy. Wait, we've talked about this before. God wants us to be holy, and why is that? Yes, it's because our God is holy. When Jesus comes into your life, your life must change to be holy, like how our God is holy. Peter wrote, Before you trusted in Jesus, you lived however you wanted and did evil things. Yes, just like the Israelites. But then Peter wrote, Now you are God's children. Don't go back to how you used to live. Obey God. He has a better life for you. Peter reminded them of God's words to the Israelites. God had said to the Israelites, Be holy because I am holy. What does it mean to be holy? Being holy means to be set apart from others. It means being different from everyone else. Just how our Creator, God, is different from all of His creation. In the beginning of our lesson, I told you guys there is no one like God. Just like how God is different, God calls us to be different too. He wants us to be like Him. Number two, love others. When God called His people to be holy, He mentioned two things, to love God and love others. So being holy doesn't only mean to keep yourself pure and clean, but it also means to love others. Loving and sacrificing for one another is another thing that shows what our God is like in His holiness. Before, when we didn't know about Jesus, we cared only about ourselves. We fought and complained. We always wanted more and more for ourselves. But God wants us to care and love and help others as much as we care about ourselves. Loving one another isn't always easy, but it is good. Number three, long for our forever home, heaven. Peter wrote, our life on earth will not last forever. It is like the grass and flowers that fade away. You know grass and flowers all wither and die at some point? Yes, they are beautiful, but they don't last forever. Our life on earth will be like that too. That means the earth that we are living on right now is not the place we will be forever. One day we will go to heaven, and there we will live with God forever and ever. So do not have hope in your life on earth, but long for our forever home in heaven. We should put our hope there. Quiz time! In today's lesson, we learned how we need to be set apart from others. What does set apart mean? Set apart means to be different. Our God was completely different and unique from others. He was holy and God wants us to be holy as well. Christ Connection Long ago, when God asked the Israelites to be holy, they failed to be holy. But Jesus Christ was perfectly holy. He never sinned. He was holy, loving, and merciful to others. And here's the good news. We can be like Him too. The more we learn about Jesus in the Bible, the more we become like Him. So boys and girls, if there is anything that is stopping you from being holy and loving others, bring that problem to God and ask God to help you. When God called you to be holy, He will help you to be holy as well. All right, will you pray with me? Let's pray. Dear God, help us to be holy as you called us to be holy. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit to help us and guide to live a life that you want us to live. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
will never let us down in. We can trust everything He does. He keeps His promises, we know because yeah, the word of the Lord holds true. We can trust Him. We can trust Him. Yeah, the word of the Lord holds true. We can trust Him. We can trust Him. Majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, doing wonders. Exodus 15, 11. <gasps> Moses lifted up the snake in the desert. In the same way, the Son of Man must also be lifted up. Then everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. John chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. Amen. Moses lifted up the snake in the desert. In the same way the Son of Man must also be lifted up. Then everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. John chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. Amen. Bye. Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, doing wonders? Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Moses lifted up the snake in the desert. In the same way, the Son of Man must also be lifted up. Then everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. John 3, 14, 15. Amen. Moses lifted up the snake. The same way the Son of Man must also be lifted up. Then, everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. John 4, 4, no, John 3, 14, 15. Amen. Who is like you? Majestic in holiness, doing wonders, Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Amen. Moses lifted up the snake in the desert. In the same way, the Son of Man must also be lifted up, and that everyone may have eternal life in him. John 3, 14 to 15. Amen. Who's like you? Majestic in holiness, awesome in the glory, doing wonders. Exodus 15, 11. Amen. Moses lifted up the snake in the desert. In the same way, the Son of Man must also be lifted up. Then everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. John. 14 through 15. Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, doing wonders? Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Amen. Moses lifted up the snake in the desert. In the same way, the Son of Man must also be lifted up. Then everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. John 3, 14 to 15. A. 